So I think some people are still coming down from the other groups because I was up there and had to rush. Um, but while you're waiting, hopefully you all know about the social event this evening in old-fashioned Milano. Um, apparently there's a map called openstreetmap.org that you can use to get there. Um, there's also this map that I edited from there. The M2 metro line, you can get to Cadorna, and it's that low F there. It's a part of a building in a, in a beautiful park. And there'll be drinks and food and open street mappers. Open street mappers. Will there be no one drinks? There should be. Like the, like the tuna in the vegetarian option. Hey. Hey. Are people still coming down from your group? I think uh, so. We sort of, I think we were the last. Look at all the new Okay. Ah, oh, I was hoping it would be full. <laughs> Is he banned? Right, I think I will just start then. I thought this might be a bit busier. Um, so I'm going to talk about the OpenStreetMap Foundation. Um, have we got some people coming? No. Um, so the OpenStreetMap Foundation, hopefully you've heard of it. It's an international not-for-profit organization. It doesn't control the OpenStreetMap project, but it supports it. Um, and it does that in various ways. Um, it, it runs a lot of the, the servers um, that run things like OpenStreetMap.org and a few other things. Um, it, this is the conference of the OpenStreetMap Foundation that you're at. So you're at a foundation event. Um, but then I, I found this on the, the website that says uh, much of the foundation's extensive work is done in the background yet is critical to ongoing functioning and growth of the OpenStreetMap project. So that OpenStreetMap project is kind of beyond the foundation. It's many things that OpenStreetMap is. Um, and so you can, anyone can become a member of OpenStreetMap Foundation. Um, go to the, the website and, um, and sign up. Um, talk to Dorothea, who's been manning our foundation table outside. Um, see? Didn't hear that. Okay. And um, yeah, so become a member. But you don't just have to support it through that membership, um, which, you know, I think it's only five pounds a year. Um, but there are working groups, and these are kind of doing that extensive work to support the project in different ways. Um, and we've collected information about the working groups. Anyone can join them. Um, although it's good to be a member of the foundation because it's good to support that, you do not have to be a member of the foundation to contact a working group, to ask them how you can help. You do not even have to be a member to help them. They, I'm sure, will be very interested um, if, if you can help them. And before this conference, we asked each of the groups, kind of, what are the tasks of your, your working group? What is it that you do? Um, we kind of asked, what are the required skills? Although these are skills that you may learn as you if you join a working group and start supporting them and helping them, you know, how do we get skills? We get them by learning and doing and helping them. Um, and we also ask the working groups particularly, what is the help needed? Um, a lot of them just want more people because these things take time. Um, but 
there are some things where their group is, is lacking, maybe in specialist skills, maybe in just um, certain situations. And if you've, um, yeah, if you've got those skills, you'll be an added help. If, if you don't think you can help, still find the working group you're interested in, or working groups, plural, and talk to them and say, can I learn this or, or you know, can I still be helpful because um, they'll be grateful for you asking those questions. So I'm going to go through the working groups and explain them. This session is going to be a bit interactive so if people are still watching on YouTube, sorry you won't be able to move around the room, um, but you can contact these working groups by going to the OpenStreetMap Foundation. So we start with the communications working group. So they do a lot of work representing OpenStreetMap on, on different communication mediums, which there are many in our world now. So there's the OpenStreetMap Twitter account, there's the Facebook group, there's the OpenStreetMap blog where they've written a lot of things and, and post a lot of things. Um, there's the foundation website where they talk about OpenStreetMap. They kind of do moderation on mailing lists. Um, there's, it varies what they're doing um, and how much, and I'm probably going to miss things because I think sometimes they do some work on the wiki um, and, and things like that. If it's kind of talking about OpenStreetMap or what OpenStreetMap's doing, it's probably either something the communications working group does or they could, um, they could do. So their skills there, of course, writing skills, um, translation, because if you want to communicate, you want to communicate to more people. So if you can translate um, or, you know, just write in, in your native language, um, then that can help. And uh, skills with design and um, art skills are good to, you know, it's not just writing isn't the only form of communication, visualizing this. So you might just have one of those skills. Um, they have a lot of single tasks, so you know it's just take a task and you can do it and then you're done and then pick another one. They've got work that kind of needs more regular ongoing people to keep momentum going. Um, and I think generally they're just looking for lots of help anyway. So whether you want to just do a bit at a time, they'll have things for you. Or if you can commit regular time um, each week. The State of the Map Committee, of course, organizes this international event that you're at. Um, and, but we're also working a lot more. There's a lot of regional State of the Maps and, um, that aren't run by the foundation, but we want to support them. So that's kind of sharing our knowledge of how to plan and organize and run a good conference. It's sometimes arranging dates so that, you know, so that these regional conferences don't clash with the international one or, or things like that. Um, and there's lots of different tasks. We do a lot of researching um, things like the caterers, what caterers are in Milan, um, who can produce, print a booklet, you know, can you get quotes. Um, we do a lot of helping the delegates in, in various ways with their queries and also scholars. A lot, a lot of our time goes into kind of helping the scholars with visa applications and things like that. Um, I'm not sure I quite listed everything there because I've been busy organizing the conference. The workload is very seasonal, so um, the last few weeks it's got very busy and we could have done with more help. Um, it, it's now going to hopefully calm down for a mere bit and I'll get some sleep, but in a few months we'll be planning the 2019 conference, so we'd love some help with that. Um, We'll be announcing where that is at the end of the year, but there's lots of work we can do remotely for that um, on the planning um, and budgeting. Um, and also, they'll be accepting the, the talk committee, kind of, we help with that. Um, so, there's the operations working group. So, um, they want to make it quite clear, they, you don't have to be a system admin, um, to be part of this working group. They kind of focus a lot on, on the planning of that. Um, and so the, the purchasing of servers that run the different services. Um, and, and that kind of 
goes into their required skills on um, they need to do a lot of analyzing and forecasting you know are we going to need another server because our traffic is increasing more visits or or you know the servers that are um, that are, are getting older will they need replacing um, Linux or technical knowledge is helpful if you understand that but um, yeah it's not essential so like many of these working groups it's um, it's kind of a uh, um, yeah if you've got an interest in how servers run how they're planned then um, you can kind of talk to these people so so I guess you know they probably need a lot of help with administrative tasks and that kind of just organizing their plans and also their group um, and I think they're looking for people to help with, with drawing up the budgets and, and kind of understanding um, how much they need to spend or how much they can spend. The um, membership working group, so they, if you're a member of the foundation, you might contact the foundation with a query, particularly if your payment hasn't gone through. And, and so I think they get a lot of small messages of, oh, this isn't quite right, individual things that they're helping, answering questions, um, and supporting those members so that hopefully we'll get more foundation members um, and it will, will be strong in, in what it does um, in supporting the project. Um, they have irregular meetings. They use a CRM, a custom, a customer relationship manager. Um, thank you. Um, so if you've got experience with that, it's a bonus. But as I say, the, that's a skill you can learn by using that. Um, but having a customer service mindset of you know, helping people and, and being kind and, uh, and, yeah, kind of polite to get back to people. Um, so the, the CRM they use is called Civi CRM. If you have technical knowledge of that, I think um, you would be an extra bonus to them right now. Um, but if you have the ability to bit a computer and respond frequently, um, that would also be helpful because it it would take pressure off other people who have to be the ones to respond. Um, nobody wants to be a member and send a message and you have to wait till that one person doing the job is, is next online and, and has some time. Um, the data working group, so they work to kind of resolve the disputes of, of data um, and also detect and stop any uh, kind of data vandalism or issues. So some of that happens in the community without the data working group getting involved, um, but they can kind of help resolve this, um, the, the kind of disputes and, and kind of work with parties that maybe uh, need, need some extra help. Um, but they also work on setting the policy on what those rules are to the community, what should people do, um, to, to make a good OpenStreetMap database. Um, so there's some probably obvious skills. If, if you've done some mapping, it's, that's good if you've got experience because then you, can, you know what it's like to be editing the map and understanding that. Um, of course, trying to stay neutral or impartial is good um, when you're, you know, you, they need to hear both sides or multiple sides of the argument. Um, and it says constructive there. I think that's constructive kind of feedback and help, you know, actually support people. Can, can you encourage them to how can they be good? What is good about what they're doing? Um, and the help that, that they would um, benefit from is uh, from very geographic areas. Um, and I think that's down to it helps to have um, local knowledge um, and, and people in the cultures where these situations might um, happen. Um, there's the engineering working group. So these are this is kind of the development and programming of some of the systems in the foundation. Um, so they, they are possibly one of the better ones of um, managing some of the lists. So there's the, the top 10 tasks, which I believe now has nine tasks. So someone finally completed one. Um, there's a Google Summer of Code which supports people and there's projects listed there. And, um, and these required skills, 
I put down Rails programming. I know there's other languages that can be used depending on what you're working on. So um, if you do any programming, um, this is one that I think you, you maybe need a bit of that skill already or, uh, or you need to, to be ready to learn it on your own. But um, talk, go meet the engineering working group and, and talk to them. Um, but these tasks are uh, very much you can kind of see. If you can help with that, you can, can go ahead and do it. And, uh, and it's waiting for you. Um, the licensing working group, um, so there, that's made, that involves matters that relate to the OpenStreetMap data, um, where it's being used in other places, if it's, if it's abiding by the license, um, but also third party data, which is, um, yeah, I'm not, I think that's a bit of both of, is some of our data going into third party illegally? Um, is third party data coming into OpenStreetMap against rules? Um, and that sort of thing. Um, aside from the data, they also work with the trademarks, such as the OpenStreetMap logo and the state of the map logo. Are they being used um, under the rules and the policies to represent um, the awesome map that we have? Um, and other legal policies around that um, that, that kind of help um, in a world where that's important. Um, so if you've got an interest in legal matters, that's of course helpful. Um, also detail orientated, it can involve looking at a lot of small print or figuring out small print and getting this written well. Um, and so I think the help, help needed is, is varied. Um, so community members without um, sort of corporate or international ties can help. Um, it doesn't exclude you from the working group, but it can help to, to kind of have a, a separate view and a conversation on this. Um, but they particularly like a lot of the laws they deal with uh, in Europe and they'd, if anyone happens to, or you know, ha is a, a legal expert, maybe you're a, a student in law or a, or a TARD or something like that, you know, if you've, if you've got that knowledge, that would be a bonus um, because and I, I know that's particularly specialist, um, but, but yeah. Um, so another part of the foundation is the board of directors. Um, and so the board of directors kind of actively support and further the interests of the foundation. They kind of oversee those working groups and it's through the working groups that um, kind of a lot of the work gets done. But the, the board of directors, so they're responsible for the foundation. Um, and that's down to a legal kind of level as well. So, so they've got a lot of admin and finance, um, but also organizational planning of that. Um, are the working groups meeting their tasks? Are, do we have the right working groups that we need to do what the foundation wants to do? Um, but also this, this kind of admin of, arranging their board meetings, making sure they at least know what's happening, and the finance, you know, there's money from sponsors, there's money for this conference, and money for the servers, and you've got to plan that and understand account, um, accounting and, and kind of finance thing. Um, so, of course, being on the board of directors, past experience of OpenStreetMap and OpenStreetMap Foundation is, is really helpful. Um, enables you to oversee the working groups and and um, I think all but one of the the board are on at least one working group um, or uh, and that kind of links them in um, so to be a board of the director you you do that's the one you do have to be a foundation member for um, and you can run for elections in December um, December ish they should happen um, there's normally a few spaces each year um, and you'll be elected by the other members. Um, so the board of directors is the only one that these, in fact actually most of the board are at this conference. Can you wave your hand if you're on the foundation board? 
So we've got Kate, Heather, Paul, and Frederick. So you can find them at the conference and talk to them. But for this session, I'm going to get you to talk to the working groups, because I think that's a great way to start your involvement if you're not already involved. Um, and, you know, but, but thank you to our directors um, who take up this responsibility and, and get involved in the working groups. So this is the interactive part now. Um, I've already asked some people, and hopefully they should know, hopefully they, they know what working group they're involved, to actually be available here. If you look around the room, I've put some signs up. And thankfully, they kind of meet this slide. So communications working group is going to be in this corner at the front. State of the map committee. Operations working group is kind of to the back. Membership work, uh, no, that's the data working group. Membership group, data working group, read the signs. And the two on the right, I thought it might get busy in here. So I've kind of put their signs should be outside. I didn't put them marketed. Um, but you'll find engineering working group in by that door and the licensing working group outside that door. Um, so stand on your feet. Find a working group that kind of interests you and go and speak to those people. Thank you. I, I might join you a bit, but I'll leave time to move around. So, also, as you go to these groups, you don't have to stay there till the end of the day. Um, talk to someone there, ask how you can get involved, um, and then feel free to actually go to another working group. It, it may be you want to be involved in two or possibly three. It may be you just want to find the, the right one. <laughs> <laughs> 